Hi, I'm Dana and today I want to talk about the issue with autism education. Um, for return of viewers really quickly, different setup, new background, we're in my bedroom because I've got my own space for the first time in like nearly a decade so I'm really excited about it, I've made my room really nice and I'm super comfortable in here so I don't want to go into my living room to film and I think, I think this looks nicer so I hope you like it. But getting into today's topic, the first thing that I want to say about autism education is that it's usually wrong. <laughs> I'm saying this having recently completed a level two in understanding autism and having recently applied for benefits and had to speak to lots of people and as such spoken to lots of people who are educated in autism and oh boy, it's been an experience. So I've got a few points that I wanna make and then I'll tell you a little bit about like my general experience and what's brought this up and how I feel about it all. So let's let's start. My first big issue with the education that's out there surrounding autism is that so much of it does not come from autistic people. And it's a case of people that aren't autistic don't understand what it is to be autistic. You know, as much as they can gain some degree of understanding and they can be empathetic towards us and accommodate to us and everything, they will never understand what it is to be autistic unless they are autistic. In my opinion, a lot of the education material that I've seen around autism feels very clinical, it feels very standardised, it just, it feels like it lacks a lot of understanding, because it does, because it's not from autistic people. And as much as someone can study and research and, you know, like, I'm not a doctor, but I would guarantee that I understand more of what it is to be autistic than any doctor who's an expert in autism, because they don't know what it is to be autistic, unless they're a doctor who is into autism research and is also autistic in which case fucking great but for the most part they're not autistic people and they don't get it and then they're educating people with a complete lack of understanding in a way that feels very medical very standardized very like it's just not great you know and for me personally i definitely feel like i've learned more about autism from c communicating with other autistic people from making these videos and reading what you have to say about it from just reading other people's accounts of being autistic i absolutely feel like i learned more about autistic people from doing all that than i did from doing an actual course that has a qualification at the end of it like i i don't feel like i learned really anything from that i maybe learned a bit of language i maybe learned the odd little bit but I've definitely learned more from other autistic people online. And my next point is that it's outdated. It's incredibly outdated and it's really frustrating. Like for example, the course that I did literally said at the start, most autistic people prefer to be, no, no it didn't. It said most people with autism prefer to be called autistic or a per an autistic person, which is, yeah. So why is it that the entire rest of the course, including that sentence calls us people with autism you know like you know better it's in the course that you know better and yet you just didn't follow it you left it to be outdated and my issue around this personally is number one I think it makes us as the autistic people look difficult when we don't react in the way that they expect or if we try to correct them in any way or if we say actually no that's not the case or I don't need this or this would be better it makes it look like we're being difficult like we're questioning what they know like we know better than you which we do but I'm not trying to say that you know and it, it makes it really hard <laughs> You know, a great example of this is that while applying for benefits and universal credit and that, I've had to speak to lots of different people who are educated in autism. And the last man I spoke to was a lovely guy. He was so nice. But you know, this guy told me that he was educated in autism and other neurodivergencies. And I was like, oh, thank shit for that. And then he asked me if I'm autistic or Aspergic. You know, he slowed down his speech for me when I, what I actually need is bigger gaps between like, you asking the question and me getting to answer. I don't need you to speak to me like this. That doesn't help. You can speak as quickly as you want. You know, the way I am with auditory stuff, I'm gonna miss it if I miss it and not if I not. It doesn't matter how quickly you speak. But it's, he asked me questions and like stared at me waiting for an answer. And it's like, yeah, maybe if you could like chill on that and give me a bit more time to answer, I'd be more comfortable. But he's been educated in a different way. He's been educated to, to treat autistic people in this way and been told by professionals that he trusts, this is how you treat an autistic person with respect. This is how you make an autistic person feel at ease. And it's wrong, <laughs> you know? But I totally understand that from his point of view, he's been doing what he's been told 
will help me. And he doesn't know any better because someone who he believes does know better has told him to do that. Having this outdated education resources and out outdated educational material, it just leads people to having like the wrong language around autism. It leads to people having incorrect ideas around what it is to be autistic. And it's also incredibly difficult to re-educate people. You know, they've been educated. They, they genuinely believe they're no longer ignorant, that they know what to do. They've been educated. It's very, very hard to tell someone, no, actually what you've been told wrong. You know, no one wants to hear that. And especially when I'm coming in as someone who like, as far as they're aware, doesn't know shit. I'm just some random autistic person and they've learned from a professional. So obviously it's me that's wrong, right? When it's, I'm sorry, but I don't believe it is. I don't believe it is me that's wrong. I do believe it's the educational material that is incorrect. But very few people are ever gonna listen to me and believe that because they know better. They've been told better. They've been educated by a professional. And it's, it's just very, very frustrating. And it's, it just makes your life harder as an autistic person, you know? I should be able to just tell someone I'm autistic and not have them ask if I'm like actually autistic or if it's Asperger or like, are you a level one or a level two? Or like, are you like high on low support needs? Like it's just bollocks and we need to be doing better. And it's incredibly hard to do better when people think that they're already doing better. <laughs> But that leads me on to my next point, which is that in my experience and from what I've seen and like had from other people, autistic education tends to either very much lump us all into this is how all autistic people are, this is the exact stereotype, these are all the traits, here's how to treat them, this is what autism is. Alternatively, they go for, oh, well, some people are autistic and some people have autism and some people are aspergic and some people are this and some people are this and some people are level one or some people are level two. And suddenly there's like all of these different types of autism when the truth is we're all just autistic. We just have a different mixture of traits, you know? You know, and I, I don't think either method of education is really the best way to go about it. You know, I think it does have to be very clear that being around autistic people takes an individualistic approach because we're all different. And as much as you can learn like, oh, autistic people may need extra time to process things. Oh, maybe when an autistic person comes in, I'll turn off the fan that makes an annoying noise. You know, there's little things and that I, you know, I understand that education around autism does have to try to be education around autism, and not his education around this specific autistic person. But I do think that it puts out the idea that, you know, one of them puts out the idea that all the fucking same. And the other puts out the idea that some of us are better than other autistic people. And some of us are this, this special type of autism while others are a bad type of autism. And neither's great. And I'm no medical professional. I've never researched anything in my life properly. Like I, I do a bit of research for my videos, but I'm not a researcher of any type. You know, I don't know what the solution is. I don't know how to educate people in a way that fully gets across how different we all are without trying to then recategorize us into more boxes. But I'd, I'd know that something should change. <laughs> you know, but for me, the main issue with this is that when people aren't accurately educated on what autism is, and especially people that are working with, with neurodivergent and autistic people, it damages. It it's damaging to the autistic person they're working with. It's damaging to the autistic people in their environment, you know? When people aren't accurately educated on, on what it is to be autistic and the ways in which they can help and accommodate us, they don't help and accommodate us in the correct ways. We're not offered the support that we actually need. And, you know, for me personally, as, as someone who's comes across as I'm not sure. I don't know how I'm perceived, but I'm, you know, I'm, I can be reasonably well spoken. I can mask quite heavily and pretend to be a lot more normal than I am, even though no such thing as normal. I'm all too often told that I'm very high functioning as though it's the best thing I could possibly be as an autistic person. When the truth of it is like, sure, I might seem high functioning because I can dress myself and go to this appointment, but you didn't see the whole day I spent in my house being like, oh my God, I've got this appointment so I can't focus on anything else and it's just a nightmare. And you haven't seen me get home and start crying because I'm just so overwhelmed. Like I'm not even sad sometimes when it happens. I'm just so overwhelmed by having done the thing and have amassed so much and pretended to like essentially be someone else. Like, you know, there's very much this professional, I've got my shit together and I'm trying my best, Dana, versus who I really am. You know, I don't really think any autistic person it's the way that they're, be with, 
fits into like the educational stereotype of what autism is and you know I'm, I'm going off like very few things I'm aware I'm sure that there is some really great educational resources out there but my point is that I haven't found them and the ones that I have been able to access or the ones that I've heard about or the people I've experienced who have been educated in autism it's just not been good enough and I think in the long run that absolutely leads to autism being further misunderstood, the idea of what it is to be autistic being twisted, like the stereotypes, like I feel like it probably even forms new stereotypes, you know? I just don't think it's particularly good for anyone and especially as an, as an autistic person, it's really frustrating to be told that they understand you and they get, get it when they don't and they're not doing the things that you need and they're making you feel worse, you know? And it's just... And I find it to be such an awkward situation because I really should be able to be like, no, you're doing it wrong, you're making me feel worse. But you can't because they're an educated person that thinks they're doing what's best. And it's just incredibly tricky and frustrating and it really pisses me off. And I think it's one of those things where like, you know, if someone's going in for, to be educated about autism and whatever way that they've chosen they obviously care about like being a better person for us and accommodating to us and you know being great and they're not doing that they're not being offered the chance to do that you know they're being taught the wrong things and it sucks for everyone like it's not even just the autistic person it's the people that are going in looking for education and being taught the wrong thing it sucks for them too it's just an all-around not good thing and i really would like to see education around autism improve you know and I, I don't know how I don't know what we can do because like I've considered making like educational videos for neurotypical people and there's the odd few that like I have aimed at neurotypical people but I don't feel like neurotypical people are going to just click on videos about autism you know they're not interested because they're not autistic so I I don't feel like I can personally do anything here but um, I'd love to hear what you think of it all in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. I could do what you think. You could do what you think should happen. How, if you have any experiences being educated about what it is to be autistic, you know, like just the whole discussion I like having with you guys, I would love you to comment and have a discussion around it. It's just one of those topics that I feel is very important. And I definitely don't have the smarts to cover it all. You feel me? So I'm asking you to do it. I'm asking you to cover all the bases and make the discussion happen for me. Also, please let me know if you prefer this little setup I've got going on or the setup downstairs. I don't know. I don't like change. I really don't like change. So I keep looking at the monitor and be like, hmm. Like, I like the way it looks, but like, it's all different. Let me know if you like it and you might see it again, I don't know. I might continue filming up here, I I really don't know. I just felt like it. A change in my routine, who have I become? Anyway, whoever you are and wherever you are, I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, day, afternoon, week, month, year. And I'll see you again in a couple of days.